Good evening, Hyperspinners. Today we're going to be talking through special art and how to add custom uh, SWFs, so get ready. Let's get started. So you can see the special art at the bottom. Uh, you've got basically the control scheme for my control panel, uh, the Xbox buttons as well as the PlayStation buttons. You can notice that there are numbers on those uh, buttons uh, to kind of tell you which one does what uh, on the, the cabinet. Uh, you can also see the hyperspin choose system in the bottom right. That's all part of uh, you know the V schema so I've got B1, B2, and B3 uh, SWFs uh, which allow you to have automated or animated uh, artwork uh, up at the top left you've got the main menu and you've also got a clock and weather and that weather you can customize it to your current location so that is the main menu now, artwork that we're going to be talking about setting up and then when we enter a wheel you're gonna see the same sort of artwork uh, for this nested wheel but once we enter let's say uh, you know, main here you're gonna notice that the special art is slightly different on the the A1. So the A1 is up at the top. It says Arcade Classics and then the genre. And you see uh, genre art that displays in the top right. Uh, when I change genres, I'm just going to select pick favorites here. You're going to see that up at the top left, or sorry, the top right, we've got the top picks uh, genre art. So you can kind of see how that uh, can be helpful here. Uh, we're looking at all of my favorites here, and uh, yes, yeah, so that's the special art, and let's go ahead and get this thing set up. So I'm going to go ahead and back out of this. And if you guys haven't seen the uh, video for uh, customizing your exit screen, uh, take a look at that. That's how uh, I got this. Uh, but this is on the uh, FTP as well. Under my dojo folder. Uh, so now let's uh, take a look here. So if you go to Hyperspin Media, Main Menu, Images, and Special, this is going to be where all your special art is for all your systems essentially. Uh, you'll have to remember to add this or replace what comes default when you set up a system. So you just simply just delete uh, I think it's A1, A2, B1, and B2 that show up by default. But if you have an editor, um, which I've got open right here, uh, I use JPEXS. I don't typically edit a whole lot of things here, but this allows you to kind of see the, the work that's required uh, to make these animated artworks. Uh, you can see it takes like 180 to make this smooth transition uh, here. Uh, but this is what uh, you know B3 is. I was looking up here, so special art B3. Uh, so that's what this one does. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of this, and you'll simply just drop the files that you find in your uh, FTP um, Ninja Dojo, and you'll go to the same path. I'll keep the folder structure the same, and this special artwork. Uh, A1 is going to be where your clock and your uh, weather is. You can see the template is here, so there's not actually any uh, weather or clock actually displaying here because it, this is just the template uh, behind the scenes. But to get that populated in the main wheels, uh, I can go ahead and show you that. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, open that folder up. 
So if you go to Hyperspin, uh, the, the root folder, you're going to find this Dark 13 folder. So uh, Dark 13 is on the Hyperspin forums. He does some amazing work uh, just with coding in general. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open up Dark 13. It's going to be important that you do not edit this folder when you do uh, grab this off the FTP. But when you open it, you're going to find a couple folders and there's really only two or three files that we need to edit. Uh, you're going to want to keep ninja 2 be seen as the name. Uh, you're, no one's going to ever see that, you know, because the front end doesn't display anything like that. But what you're going to do is you're going to just edit that XML and you're going to find that the WOIED is going to be your location. And, you know, if you want Celsius or Fahrenheit, you can uh, you know, display that. So I prefer Fahrenheit, so I've got F. If you want Celsius, you use uh, C. To find your location, what you've got to do is just Google. Um, just type in W-O-E-I-D uh, lookup, or just type in this uh, site above. And I typed in New York, I hit lookup, and then I scroll down to the bottom, and then you see the W-O-E-I-D. You just copy the one that uh, fits your location. Uh, there, there it is, 2347591. I just picked a random one. And then you'll just stick that in here. And what, once you've done that, you just hit File, Save As. And yeah, that's, that's it there. So the other place that you want to edit is under Weather. So you're gonna open that up. And then you're gonna edit the Weather XML. You're gonna open that up. You're going to put that same WOIED number in there, and then your Fahrenheit and or Celsius, so hit save there. And you've got that thing set up. So you've got the uh, weathering clock now displaying on uh, over the top of A1. So that is that. So it will display up at the top uh, where you were seeing. Also something important uh, is going to settings and basically setting the location up. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the main menu. I don't think it really matters which one I open, but I'm gonna be specific here and open up main menu. If I scroll down to the bottom, you're gonna see the location of your special art. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna at least copy the X, Y, in, out, length, delay, you know, and you might have to tweak this a little bit depending on your uh, your basically monitor size, uh, but this should be the general vicinity of where that should be at. Uh, if you want to change uh, that artwork uh, going uh, vertically, up or down, you're going to change this number here for the Y. If you want it to change left or right, then you're going to change this number here. Uh, I recommend getting this right for basically the main menu and then once you've done that then you're going to be able to copy and paste the special art uh, a and b and c even and start pasting that in each one of these inis so you're going to want to remember to basically add this uh, whenever you add a new system and everything will look extremely uh you know streamlined so so that is that, that's Special Art A. If I scroll down to Special Art B, you're gonna notice uh, it's got a different location because that's at the bottom of the screen. And then for Special Art C, this was the top right corner with the graphics for genres. You're gonna notice that is also a different uh, spot. But I'm hoping that that uh, just is a drag and drop for you guys, but go ahead and test that out. And uh, yeah, so that's uh, the special art. And what else should I show you guys? So once you've got that set, you're just gonna copy and paste that section, A, B, and C. And then you're gonna open up your you know, other systems. You're gonna scroll down to the bottom and you're just gonna uh, make sure you don't cut off this start on favorites equals false or true. Uh, you're just going to copy your, that special art A, B, and C and then paste it over those same uh, locations. You're going to paste that in there and hit save. So this would edit the uh, main 
main wheel. So you would have main and the main menu wheel set up. So you would also have to make sure that when you go to media and you go down to main, you're going to make sure that those files that we just talked about are also in your main folder. So I'm going to scroll down here. We're going to go to images, special, and then you can see the, the special artwork is there. So what's important here is that you are just copying, uh, you know, these files over. Uh, also, I feel like, and I can't remember here, but what I'm going to end up doing is on the FTP, I'm going to put a main menu, um, you know, folder on the Dojo site with the special art, and then I'll also drop in uh, main the images special art. So you can see there's uh, a little bit of difference here because the system wheels have genre art, and uh, you also I think the special art A could be slightly tweaked here because it doesn't display weather and clocks. Uh, so just kind of keep that in mind. The main menu has the clock and the temperature, but uh, I didn't include it in special art A because uh, the genre art, I didn't want it looking too busy. So uh, there could be a slight difference in that. Just kind of take it for what it's worth. And uh, yeah, I'll include all the special art uh, for uh, the C section. And basically what I've done is I've shrunk that size down to fit. So all these graphics are uh, 114 by 39. If you guys use different uh, genre art, then what you're going to want to do is use the Photo Sizer uh, app. And I've got a video for that. And all you've got to do is just use your artwork that you've got and size it down by typing in 114 by 39. And that's going to fit that graphic really nicely in that special art A. Uh, this name for each one of these genres have to be exactly how your XML is set up. So it's a, a good chance that each one of your, uh, your system genres will need to be renamed. Uh, you know, basically, some of these XMLs have sports, space skiing versus dash skiing. And it'll only show up if you have that exact same naming convention for your uh, your artwork. So I believe that's it, guys. I'm trying to skim through here. I think that is it. I'll go ahead and include all those genre arts. I hope you like those. And uh, gonna kind of breeze through here just to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. So we talked about the weather. Yeah that and the weather here all this is for a different theme for hyper uh, xml spins so you don't need to worry about that yeah so that is a uh, special art a b and c guys uh, just make sure you set up the locations under the settings uh, folder and uh, good luck